this is Ryan with MOS Equipment, maker of Mission Darkness Faraday Bags. Today I'm going to be talking about an exciting new product that we have called the Blocker Locker 7. Uh, this product solves a major problem in the forensic investigative community that's uh, been a problem for a bit of time now and a full end-to-end -end solution has been required to solve this problem, which is what this product does. Now it requires a little bit of background explanation, which I'll go through, and then I'll talk about the features of the product. So uh, currently, if you use tools, if you're an investigator and you use tools like Gray Key, XRY, Celebrite, you know that keeping the device live from the point of evidence collection all the way through to transport to intake and then to analysis is extremely important. If the device dies, password cracking, um, data extraction is either impossible or significantly impaired. So. What we created is a product that is based on the process of how to keep evidence live and shielded, which is extremely important as well. Um, if the device is not shielded, a cell phone, a tablet, or other devices, um, from the point of seizure all the way through to extraction, if it's not shielded, um, text messages can come in, GPS points, corrupting the evidence, destroying chain of custody, and it could be even remotely wiped and uh, you've, lost your, you've lost your evidence. So <clears throat> the process behind this relates to incoming officers where this sits maybe in a lab or maybe an evidence intake area. You'll have an incoming officer or uh, an incoming party of some sort who may be trained or not trained on exactly what to do. And at the time that they see this, this guides them through the process of keeping the device live and shielded all at once. So how does it do that? So if I were coming in to bring a cell phone that I collected out in the field and I knew that I had to use this product, the Blocker Locker, the first thing that I would see are instructions on what to do. So I'll be instructed by the sticker to open a compartment with a key and that means it's empty. So if I open that compartment here, I'll see that there's a bag inside and again these instructions are telling me what to do and it's only four steps, it's pretty easy. So the bag inside, this is our shielded bag. This is a charge and shield bag. Now what it does is it has a connected USB. This USB goes to a charger inside here and it shields. The bag is a shielded enclosure and this is a window. So I would see that I need to find one of these, open it up, and this connection right here is our magnetic neolock connection. It's very easy to use. The, the life of the bag is extended because of this type of connection and it reduces the margin for error for not closing it correctly. So I would find this, I see it's open. I would take a cell phone and find the appropriate tip inside of here. So let's say it were an iPhone. I would need to find the lightning cable. That's right here. There's three tips that come with each bag, USB-C, micro USB and lightning. So I would then close that up, take the lightning tip and connect it to a USB cable, which is a little hard to see probably in the video, but I'll open this up. Inside of there, there's a cable extension. So I would just reach in, connect that. And then I'm going to take my cell phone, connect it here, and then roll the top of the bag. So What's gonna happen now is the device is charging and you can confirm that through the window here as well as signal cutoff. So what's actually happening is the device is connected to the USB and what we've done, which is a big uh, reason for creating this product, is to entirely reduce the margin for error. So the uh, personnel that's coming in um, may or may not be trained. They may not know exactly how to use this or whether or not to connect or disconnect something. So these are all little things that play into the importance of how this product functions. We've used shrink wrap to connect these two components of the product so they can't be separated. Again, it's a small thing, but it reduces margin of error. We've included a metal stop for this USB connector to make sure that it can't be pulled out during the point that someone is operating it. So again, all they would need to do is put this back inside of the locker, close the lock, lock it, which the instructions say to do, and then drop it in the lockbox here which says here, place key in lockbox after locking compartment, okay? Now, that device inside of there is shielded from signals, so it can't be wiped or it can't be remotely altered. It's charging, and it can be left in there for as much time as is needed, uh, days, weeks, as long as it takes before the point of analysis. So the officer leaves, and then it's up to lab admin to determine what to do with the evidence afterwards. 
So lab admin can come open the compartment with a master key. There's a master key included as well as two keys per compartment um, in case any one of them gets lost. Remove the bag, unplug it here, and now this bag can actually be brought or transferred to an examiner, brought into a Faraday box like our uh, block box lab, opened easily under a shielded environment, and then the device can be transferred inside of the box and analyzed. So this means from the point of introduction of evidence all the way through to charging and the passage of time, Lab admin opens it, gives it to examiner. From that point all the way on, the devices are shielded and charging, and there's really very little margin of error. So once that's completed and the device is transferred, all the examiner or lab admin has to do is reconnect this, place it back inside of the compartment, and then leave it open with the key here. And once the lab admin needs to retrieve the keys that have been left in the lockbox, a separate key is used to open this box and they can pull those out right here. So that's the process for lab admin or the examiners. It's also extremely simple for them. It again allows for that end-to-end -end process of uh, evidence collection, bringing it in here, keeping it shielded and charged all the way through to examination. Now a couple things to note. Um, I'm going to open the compartment here and open all of them so you can see. So we include seven bags for seven different compartments here. Each one has a phone size bag. This is phone size. We also have a tablet size, which is slightly larger. Um, that's optional to purchase. And each one of these compartments can support up to two bags, two phone size bags. So if you would like 14 in total, you can order seven more. It comes standard with seven, but it can be expanded up to 14. And what that would mean is you would have a separate bag with this type of connection going to the USB block in here. Which, as well, it's also worth mentioning that these bags can be purchased individually. So for um, this bag, along with the cable kit and an extension cable for here, can be purchased separately if you have your own locker or you'd simply like to keep them on a desk, you're not interested in the locker solution, uh, we do offer that as well. So what I was saying is the complete separation of untrained incoming officer or personnel um, that separation from the examiner is accomplished entirely by this product. The process has been entirely thought through. It's very easy to use. The margin of error is very low. That's really the beauty of this product. We do have instructions for the lab managers on how to use it, um, exactly how to handle the evidence. Um, that comes with it as well. And um, we have thought through all of the pieces for you. So that's a demonstration of the full use of the Blocker Locker 7. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to drop us a line. Uh, we would be happy to talk with you. There's a lot of solutions on the market like Faraday tents, different types of Faraday bags. Um, we really believe in certain ones over others. Uh, we put a lot of time and effort into the solutions that we create. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask us. We'd love to uh, sit with you and figure out how to accomplish your individual needs. And I'm Ryan from MOS Equipment, maker of Mission Darkness Faraday Bags.